Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this heart monitor insert a shape and change its color. Create a new document by going to File and New. Make the width 1920 pixels and the height 1080 pixels. Make the resolution 150 pixels per inch. To fill the viewing area with your document, press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white, press D on your keyboard. We'll fill the background with black and since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Next, we'll make a grid on the background. To do this, create a new document and make the width and the height 45 pixels each and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. Fit the document on your screen and fill it with black. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. If they're not, just click on them to make them active. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Click on the left ruler and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H to make it visible. Drag down a guideline from the top ruler as well. Then press Enter or Return. Open your pencil tool and make the size 2 pixels and the hardness 100%. Invert the foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Press and hold Shift as you click on the guideline and drag down a line to the bottom. It's normal if your line isn't perfectly centered. Repeat this with the horizontal line. Merge the layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Type in Grid. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Click on the tab of the original document you made at the beginning and make a copy of it. Double click on the thumbnail of the copy to open its layer style window. Click Pattern Overlay, open your patterns, and click on the last one which is the grid. Then click OK. Reduce the opacity to 10% and merge the layers. Open your brush tool. To increase or decrease the size of your brush, press the right or left bracket key. Increase it to 1800 pixels and an opacity of 10%. Then click down once. Invert the colors and make the brush size 900 pixels and the opacity 70%. Now with a slight arc, brush over the right and left sides. Let's add some color. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and click Solid Color. I'm picking a bright green, 06FF00. Click OK and change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Next, we'll add the blips for the pulse or heartbeats. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Pen Tool and choose Path. Click on your grid, lift up, go above it slightly to the right and click down. Continue to make jagged paths and end the line on the same horizontal axis as where you first started the path. To straighten out the blips, press and hold Ctrl or Command and drag the points to the left or right. The blips on a real heart monitor look slightly arced, so go to a point and press and hold Alt or Option and slightly drag the point to the right. Continue to make slight arcs on all of your blips. Open your pencil tool and invert your colors. Make your pencil size 6 pixels 
and the hardness 100%. Right click on a path and click stroke path. Make sure the tool is pencil and click OK. To delete the work path, right click on it and click delete path. Drag the blips layer below the adjustment layer. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Press B to open your pencil tool again and press and hold shift and drag out a line. Make a copy of the line. Press V to open your move tool and press and hold shift as you drag it to the left. Merge these layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E twice. I'll name it Pulse. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Open your custom shape tool. Choose Path and click on the heart symbol. If you don't see it, click on this icon and click Reset Shapes. Click on the gear icon and choose Defined Proportions. Click on the line and drag out the shape. To move it, press and hold the space bar and reposition it. You can choose to align the bottom of the heart to the line or move the heart down below the line. If you choose to align it to the line, press P to open your pen tool and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it to the right. To snap it horizontally, add Shift to your keystrokes. Right click the work path and choose Stroke Path. Then click OK. As before, you can delete the path. If you want to slide the heart shape up or down, press the up or down arrows on your keyboard. Make the pulse layer active and make a copy of it. Press and hold shift as you slide the copy of the pulse to the right. Make the heart shape layer active and press your arrow keys to center it between the pulse blips. Let's merge the heart shape and the pulse blips. Shift click on the thumbnail of the bottom pulse to highlight all the layers then press Ctrl or Command E. I'll name it Pulse. To center it on the grid background, press Ctrl or Command A, click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon, and the Align Vertical Centers icon. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. There needs to be a space where the heart shape and the horizontal lines converge. Open your zoom tool by pressing Z on your keyboard. Drag a rectangle over the area to zoom into it. Open your eraser tool and choose a small pixel size and a hardness of 100%. Now erase that area and round out the edges. Earlier, if you chose to position the heart shape below the horizontal lines, use your eraser tool in the same way. Press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit your entire document on your screen. Let's add an outer glow to the blips and the heart. Make a copy of the pulse and double click on it to open its layer style window. Choose Outer Glow and change the blend mode to Normal. Make the opacity 100%. Click on the color box and pick white. Make the size 22 pixels and click OK. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the pulse copy. Invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Open your brush tool. Make the size 900 pixels a hardness of 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. Hover your cursor over the heart and click down two or three times. Make the original pulse layer active. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to it and invert it. 
Hover your cursor over the heart again and increase the size of your brush by pressing the right bracket key. Increase it to 1500 pixels. Then click down once over the heart. Let's add a soft glow over the center of the grid. Make a new layer below the active layer by control clicking or command clicking on the new layer icon. Make the opacity 15% and press enter or return. Hover your cursor over the heart and click down once. To change the overall color of your heart monitor, click on the adjustment layer and pick a different color. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.